and get your ruler. I'm dividing the panty down the middle, so I'm just finding the midpoint and the side seams. I'm drawing a line towards the sides so I know how far to go when I cut. And I decided to make my thong back about um, three quarters of an inch, that's about two centimeters. I'm drawing a line to make sure I don't go past that when I cut. Now I'm freehanding a curved line, but I decided to get a curved ruler and just use it as a guide to draw a curve. This is a free printable curved ruler. I will link it in the description box below. You can totally freehand this, but I decided to use the curved ruler. Extend your lines towards the front of the panty. Neighbor's chicken. I am seam ripping the lace from the panties. Oh my gosh, the chicken. It's 12 o'clock. This took me a while, so I decided to just cut the fabric near the lace and then do the seam ripping later on off camera. Be very careful. We are not cutting the lace, we are cutting near the lace. And now we have easy access to cut a curved line. I'm finding the half point of the lace and the half point of the panty and marking with a piece of soap. You can use a pin to mark those points as well. Finding the half of the panty and marking it and half of the lace and marking it with a pin as well. And I'm going to be positioning the lace onto the panty at the half mark. This is to help me stretch the lace evenly. Remember when we're sewing, we're going to stretch the lace, not the panties. I will be sewing using a zigzag stitch. So if you have a zigzag stitch sewing machine, happy times. Make sure to do a back stitch and Stretch the lace, not the panties. And one side is done, now I'm going to sew the other side. Remember to stretch the lace, not the panties.
we're finished and this is what the lace panties look like in the back and the front remains exactly the same.